At the end of last year, Zip surprised us all with the release of their unique shaped 454 NSW wheel set. And now we are here in Kona ahead of the Ironman World Championships, where they've just released their deeper profile version, the 858 NSW. Now you've probably noticed there's a lot of similarities here between the 858 and the 454s. And they both have this sawtooth rim design and then on the surface of the wheels they've got that hex fin dimple pattern. And that is all to improve what they call its aero balance, meaning it handles and carries its speed much better in crosswinds, which is pretty good timing ahead of the Ironman World Champs where they're certainly going to be experiencing a lot of crosswinds. And its undulating sawtooth design means that it's 82 mil at its deepest section and 77 mil at its shallowest. And the idea behind this is that on traditional deep section wheels, you tend to get this pressure build up on the wheel. And when it dumps, you really feel it in that sort of twitchy motion. But with the sawtooth design, it's continually dumping the air pressure or shedding as Zip like to call it, making the handling far more stable. Now the 858s come in both disc brake and rim brake versions with the rim brakes featuring showstopper technology with its silicon carbide braking surface allowing for strong braking in all conditions. Both the disc brake and the rim brake wheels come with their cognition hubs and the disc brakes have 24 spokes on the front and rear whilst the rim brakes have 18 on the front and 24 on the rear. The 858s are only available as clincher wheel sets and both the disc and the rim brake wheel sets have a 17mm internal rim width and the disc brakes have an external rim width of 23.7 on both the front and the rear and then the rim brakes have an external rim width of 24.4 on the front and 23.7 on the rear. As you can see, the graphics and logos are printed directly onto the wheels and this is all to keep weight down using Zip's Impress technology. And the disc brake version come in at 1,834 grams, whilst the rim brake wheel set come in at 1,750 grams. Now we've caught up with Michael from Zip to help explain these wheels in a little bit more detail. Okay, Mike, where does this unique design of the 858 come from? Yeah, this is a continuation of what we uh, first introduced last year with the 454 NSW. Um, we took a lot of the learnings that we had with the first model, um, with the tubercles, and you know, advanced that even further. So, you know, building on what we learned with the stability and, and what we could do with the, the hyperfoils, um, we've done a more um, kind of sharper profile, really um, to um, maximize the uh, efficiency of the wheel, reduce the drag, but you know, not a penalty because with the hyperfoils we can control the stability of the product um, independently. And do you have any savings or any data? So this wheel um, over the, the current 808 NSW, which we believe is best in class, we've, we've been able to take another seven and a half percent of watts savings, um, you know, just, just in terms of the, the air profile. But the most important thing is with this new shape and the new hyperfoils, we've been able to increase the stability of the product. And so by doing that, we believe, you know, through um, field testing and CFD, um, we've been able to save an age group or triathlon, you know, somebody that's you've done a lot of training to come to this event here in Ironman, save uh, on the order of 8.6 seconds for every minute we keep them in the aero position. So, you know, that, that age grouper is trained all year. We want to keep him in his uh, aero platform, the one he's worked really hard to, to optimize. And so by doing that, we can save him almost nine seconds for every minute. And I've tried to explain high vortex shedding or high frequency vortex yeah. shedding. Would you possibly do a better job than me on that? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, you know, if you think of um, air as like a fluid, um, you know, you see these eddy currents in a, uh, in a river, that, that's kind of like a vortex. And so what we want to do is control that, that the way that air separates off the wheel. Um, by doing that, we, we provide a rider a platform that has less disturbance. And so, you know, what we're trying to do with the hyperfoils is really try to in increase the, the amount of vortexes that develop and shed off 
and by doing so, really reducing the, the disturbance that the rider will feel in the handlebar. So it allows someone to ride a deeper wheel on a course like Kona. I, exactly. So, you know, what we want to do for that rider is give them the best platform, the most efficient platform so they can save the energy. So, you know, this new 858 uh, NSW is, um, it, it rides like, it's a, it, you know, it has the handling and the performance characteristics of a 404, but, you know, we believe this is the, the best product we've ever uh, produced. Tire choices, would, would you, change them for front or rear How, what would you go for you know it, it's it's a little bit dependent on the rider and in the size we've kind of optimized around a 25 you can run a little, little bit bigger in the back you know for extra puncture protection but really we've we've honed this for really a 25 um, clincher um, wheel we believe that that provides the best benefit for the rider at, at these particular events not only uh, triathlon but just everyday training and road riding as well so there we go, that is the Zip 858 NSW wheels. Let us know what you think in the comments below. And if you like the wheels, give it a thumbs up. And to see more videos like this, just click on the globe to subscribe. And to see us comparing a road bike versus a TT bike on a climb, just click up here. And to see us in the lab at Team Bath, testing a cadence and running off, just click here.